Hey everybody, Brandon Swanson along with Sean Anderson, and it is the final game of week 12 in the NFL, the Monday night game, and it's the Green Bay Slackers against the Philadelphia Eagles. The, the Packers have been terrible. Slackers is a perfect, uh, perfect term for them. The key for the Packers is let Aaron Rodgers go. Don't even try a running game because it's not going to work. James Starks is not a good running back. He, he's a decent pass catcher out of the backfield, but he's not a good running back. I don't even know if Christine Michael knows the playbook yet, so really running the ball with him would be pointless. And Ty Montgomery is a natural wide receiver and cannot run the ball. So if you're going to attack anything, you need to use Aaron Rodgers. You need to use his feet. He was able to scramble a little bit against the Washington, Washington Redskins, but it wasn't enough. And, and the real reason it wasn't enough is because you have no defense. So unless Aaron Rodgers goes out and obliterates this Eagles defense, which can be done, Packers aren't winning this game. So the key is Aaron Rodgers. And I talked a little bit about the secondary, and the key for the Eagles is Carson Wentz. And the rookie rook record for most passing touchdowns in the game is five. Jameis Winston did it, Matt Stafford did it, and Ray Bouvier did it, did it in 1937. Yeah. I don't remember him, weirdly enough. Yeah. Um, he was 60 years before my time. But what, How don't you remember? What Carson Wentz did and, and Matt Stafford did is exactly what Carson Wentz will do. I say he breaks the rookie, pa- rookie passing touchdown record in a game with six touchdowns because this secondary is atrocious. The lowest passer rating when throwing towards the Packers secondary which is a banged up secondary, but when with the guys who are on the field, it is a 112. That would win you the MVP. I think it was the highest that it's ever been with Aaron Rodgers putting it up around 112. So this secondary is atrocious. I think Doriel Green Beckham gets in the action. I think Darren Sproles gets in the action. I think uh, Mr. Jordan Matthews gets in the action here. Carson Wentz is going to have a big game. Eagles are going to win big here. And let me do my math correctly. It's going to be 45 because they've got a field goal, 45 to 31. I'm going to say, just because you now said that, Wentz is going to have three interceptions and one touchdown. I wouldn't put it past you. I wouldn't put it, put it past him at all, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Only now that you said that. Yeah. Well, folks, there you have it. Sean is predicting that the Green Bay Packers will go to 4-7 and seven on the season. Most picks in a game was 8. Most pick 6s in a game was 3, so maybe that would happen. Yeah, possibly. Maybe. But most likely not. Yeah. Well, that is going to wrap things up for this week in our Week 12 previews. Uh, big thanks to Sean Anderson. As always, Sean, enjoy doing these with you. You're really right. have really have a lot of fun. You're okay. And uh, I, I know I'm a little bit better than that, but uh, we have a good time doing it. We hope you have an, a good time uh, viewing Watching them it. on the other side. It's fun. It's fun, and we love when you give your opinion. Unless, of course, we disagree with the opinion. Then, or if you're Vance, then we don't. Then we don't. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm kidding. We, of course, we want your opinions. That is what Except we thrive on. That's what these videos thrive on. On on your on your. That's one thing I'll agree with you with <laughs> is that uh, yes, unless you're Vance, of course. But I, I think that we really enjoy what we do. We hope that you enjoy being part of what we do. And, you know, in this Thanksgiving season, you know, again, a big thank you to all of our fans. Uh, We are thankful for you and your support. And I I think that uh, we can continue to grow this each and every day. Uh, And it's going to be with you. You're going to have to help us. Talk to your friends. Show your friends what we're doing here at MVP because it's something good. And we're only going to be able to get better if you continue to help grow with us. So keep keep it right there. Always keep it right there. Never take your eye off of MVP because we're always going to be here. We hope you will be too. Have a great weekend, everybody. A great week. Week 12 in the NFL. It's going to be a good one. That's my co-host. That's my co-host. <laughs>